Steve Bolin and the team from the RNC Mounted Unit, welcome to your new home. As you know, Rainbow Riders was built for kids with disabilities, and, and not only physical disabilities, but uh, cognitive, social. And uh, we work every day uh, using the horses as the healers uh, for those kids. And now being able to apply that programming and work with the RNC and their programming for our frontline responders is, I mean, it's just incredible. The idea first was strictly about the wellness of the horses. And then we looked at the opportunities to be able to expand our uh, therapy program throughout the year. So when you have an indoor arena such as this, you can walk over less than 100 yards and you can get out of the weather conditions. You know, it's no secret that, you know, you're in St. John's, you have hilly streets that are very narrow and you get into winter time to put a 2,000 plus pound uh, animal out in those conditions. Uh, you know, you're jeopardizing the safety of the animal and the rider or even persons in vehicles. Bring water to a horse, you can't make a drink today. Eh? <laughs> Six years ago, I was diagnosed with uh, post traumatic stress disorder, and um, as a result, I ended up off work for 18 months. I was finished, I was ready to, to leave it all behind and walk away, but um, the universe had a different plan. <laughs> the Heroes Equine Learning Program, or HELP for short, is actually a charity <clears throat> based out of Ottawa originally and I met with the developers in Ottawa and essentially we were able to bring that program here to Newfoundland. These retreats are for first responders and military personnel dealing with operational stress injuries and PTSD. I think it's huge. I think that there's a, a great need. I think that uh, horses can provide such a calm and comforting feeling to a lot of people, especially our horses where they're so big and they're so beautiful and they're majestic and I really feel that they have a lot to offer so the program overall is just wonderful.